Welcome to the Just Journal Club from Europe and Asia, Oceania. So I'm Kyotaka Sakura, uh, one of the uh, organizers. So I'm happy to introduce you Professor Mizuki Tada today. Um, so uh, I will give you the, some small introduction of the Professor Tada. Uh, 2005, and then she was the assistant professor of Department of Chemistry at the University of Tokyo. Uh, the supervisor is the professor uh, Yasuhiro Iwasawa. And she got the associate professor position of the Institute for Molecular Science 2008, and full professor position uh, 2013. So she was a very young professor, full professor. So uh, now she is the team leader of element visualization team, Rick and Spring 8, and at the same time, professor of Department of Chemistry, Nagoya University. So this talk is Operando Characterization of ORR, Oxygen Reduction Reaction Catalyst for PEFC. So, Please start, Professor Tada. Thank you very much for your kind introduction, Professor Sakura, and thank you very much for giving me a chance to talk uh, this uh, journal, journal club from Europe and as well as Asia. And I'm happy to introduce our recent works uh, focusing on uh, uh, character operand characterization of uh, oxygen reduction reaction calories, which is uh, most important reaction in the PFC. And uh, I'd like to show you our examples on uh, the imaging and the uh, operand analysis of this kind of catalyst. So as you know, the uh, hydrogen is a key word for the sustainable society and the production, storage, transportation, and use of hydrogen. These are very important issues in the hydrogen supply chains. And as you know, the PFC, uh, polymer electrolyte fuel cell, which is a key technology for the use of hydrogen. And uh, you know the fuel cell vehicles, such as the Toyota Mirai and uh, Honda Clarity, and the use of household and industries. There are many applications of the PFC now. And so uh, this is commercialized systems, but there are so many issues in the recent development on the PFC. You can see that a uh, principle on polymer electrolyte fuel cell, uh, which is a fuel cell system using the hydrogen and uh, as a fuel. At another side, uh, platinum or other uh, noble metal catalyst are used as another catalyst and hydrogen converted to two proton and two electron on this electrocatalyst. At cathode side, uh, oxygen reduction reaction which is called as ORR. So this is a uh, main reaction at cathode. Oxygen reacted with two protons from anode side through the membrane polymer electrolyte and the two electron and the water molecules is formed at cathode side. And the platinum and the platinum bimetal catalyst has been used for the active catalyst for ORR in PFC. And you can see the typical example on a TM image of the platinum carbon calories supported on a ketchum black support and the fine platinum nanoparticles existed on the surface on the uh, carbon. But under the working condition in PSC, so we have a polymer electrolyte under the, uh, with acidic condition. So the uh, active catalyst as cathode always have a serious damage and the degradation proceed under the operating conditions. And uh, uh, not only the uh, durability of the catalyst, uh, uh, durability of membrane polymer electrolyte to uh, separate the anode and the cathode and the support materials and the catalyst and the radical quenchers, the durability of these materials is quite important issues in the current PFC vehicle development. 
and the cost of reduction and the site of reduction, for example, so with high power density and uh, achievement of high temperature operation and low humidifier conditions, this is a next target in the uh, PRC development. And uh, so uh, there are so many issues for the recent uh, development improvement on the PFC calories, the corrosion, how to uh, uh, protect the corrosion of the calories and carbon support and improve the membrane durability. So the interface structure and the peroxide vertical species is quite affected to the uh, performance on the calorie, uh, performance of PFC. And the radical quencher was always used to uh, catch the radical species under the conditions and how to regulate the poisoning of the calories. For example, the, the automobiles uh, sometimes uh, uh, drive under the, uh, around the spring, uh, hot spring area and uh, poison, how to uh, this, uh, stop the poisoning and recovery of electric calories. These are very important issues uh, in the PFC, current PFC development. And so we uh, used the hard X-ray exhaust for the char characterization of PFC calories. So you can see the typical uh, PFC cell. This is a cell with a, a X-ray window. And uh, we put the MEA membrane electrode assembly with a membrane sample with a anode and the cathode calories in both sides of the membrane. And this kind of flow channels is uh, put inside the PFC cell. And when we analyze this kind of MEA, so we can extract the samples like this one. This is a powder catalyst, uh, platinum nanoparticle catalyst supported on carbon. And uh, so ex situ analysis uh, using a TEM suggests that the particle, each particle, particle size and the structure and uh, uh, so we structure on the particles using a high resolution PM images. But this kind of samples is uh, sample out, uh, scratched from the membrane. So we can't see the real active structure for the exit analysis. And this kind of membrane has a layered structure. So cathode catalyst layer and nothing membrane and anode catalyst layer. This is a very heterogeneous structures. So how to analyze this kind of uh, catalyst layer under reaction condition? So this is an uh, exit analysis by SCM and we can see the multiple image of each layers, but we can't see how the platinum catalyst works on the PFC. So we developed the uh, operand analysis. One is operand RD uh, for uh, that's uh, RD disaster for the measurement on the RD systems. And so uh, first I would like to show you this example. And then uh, uh, we can, uh, I can show you the operand image on the MEA membrane electrode assembly in the polymer electrolyte pyrosol. So uh, for the operand uh, characterization of PFC systems, uh, we built a beam line, uh, particular beam line for operand PSC analysis in 2013, and uh, with a uh, uh, support of NEDO project in Japan. And we uh, constructed the many uh, system time resolved stuffs and uh, space resolved stuff and uh, hack space. And we can combine the behavioral techniques for the operand analysis on the PFC. And this beam line is uh, uh, con uh, worked as a weekend since uh, 2020, and we have many correlation in it. So today I'd like to talk, talk on four topics. First one is a synthesis and operand RD exhaust analysis on the platinum guttering and electro catalyst for oxygen reduction reaction. I would like to show you a synthesis and application of the operand RD exhaust analysis. And then I'd like to show you three-dimensional dust imaging for the PFC MEA. This is a powder catalyst. And this is a MEA membrane uh, electrode assembly in the PFC cell. And then I'd like to show you the city dust imaging of platinum cobalt catalyst in the MEA. 
and uh, we succeeded in the visualizing a degradation process on the PFC calories under operating conditions. And finally, I briefly show you the recent topics on the three-dimensional imaging of sodium radical scavengers in the MEA. We published this one uh, last month. So uh, as I told you, this is a principle on uh, PFC systems. Eh? And the oral oxygen reduction reaction is a key to improving the PFC performances. And there are many uh, problems on the cathode side. Uh, so the uh, degradation of the calories and degradation of the support and how to improve the perform uh, elect uh, electrocatalyst performances. And uh, we need to uh, understand how the catalyst uh, degrade uh, aggregate and degrade it inside the PFC under the working condition. So we use the uh, PFC, uh, this uh, just operand just analysis for the uh, cathode catalyst for ORR. And recently we prepared the platinum nanocluster catalyst using the platinum four cluster uh, metal complex supported the multiple carbon nanotube. And we found that the addition of gutterium species provided uh, improved the uh, PFC uh, or the performances in the RD test. So here I briefly show you the synthesis of the catalyst. This platinum four cluster was uh, attached on the multiple carbon nanotube, and we degraded the surface on the multiple carbon nanotube by the polymer matrix. Uh, matrix by the polymerization of uh, these pillow molecules and the correct the surface on the uh, multiple carbon nanotube. So the each uh, platinum nanoclusters formed from this uh, platinum four cluster was uh, uh, stabilized on the surface layers and the polypyrrole, and we achieved uh, an improvement on the speed or performance on the catalyst. So interestingly, uh, we succeeded in a very small platinum nanoparticles by the attachment of multiple carbon nanotube and the decoration of the surface by polypyrrole. And you can see the very fine platinum nanoparticle by TM, uh, whose average particle size was uh, 1.5 plus minus 0.5 nanometers. And we can see the small platinum nanoparticles supported on the platinum surface, which is in a metallic uh, state as platinum nanoparticle. And here I'd like to show you STEM EDS mapping a platinum sample. And you can see the very uh, thin uh, polypidal layers on the surface of multiple carbon nanotube. And each platinum particle was attached on the surface and coated by the surface. Uh, polypyrrole lay, uh, pyro layers, and we found the stabilized, stabilized structures. So uh, we evaluated the uh, uh, catalytic performance or the performance using rotation disk electrode called RTE. This is the most typical uh, technique to evaluate the catalytic, uh, electrocatalytic performances on the catalyst. So we put the samples powder samples on the surface of RDE, and we record the CV or LSV, and of course we can do the accelerated degradation test. So the durability of the catalyst is one of the critical issues for the PFC development, but it takes a long time to uh, degrade the sample. So at uh, experiment uh, in the laboratories, we have the acceleration degradation test, which accelerated the degradation of the catalyst using the particular uh, cell voltage cycles. In this case, so we can change the cell voltage from 0.6 to 1.0 volt for each three seconds and change the cell voltage like this one. So uh, this is uh, uh, some uh, conditions to mimic the uh, degradation of the catalyst and we can prepare the degraded samples in a short reaction time using the ADT. And we evaluated the samples on the LD electrode and 
uh, measured CVL electrochemical performances and uh, conducted acceleration degradation test and uh, uh, evaluate the uh, durability and the performance on these calories. So you can see the cyclic voltammogram, and this is a picture on RD. And we put the samples here, and a very small amount of the sample platinum calories, which is very difficult to uh, correct for the chem measurement. And, but we can see that change in the performances against that number of the ADT cycles. And so the catalyst A, A with the uh, platinum nanoparticle catalyst with a polypyrrole stabilizing values, we can see the uh, good performances for the OLR catalyst. And uh, so when we uh, defeat the uh, ADT cycles or catalyst, so this is a catalyst without the polypyrrole, and we can see the large uh, differences in the performances. And tech 1050 e is uh, one of the most conventional commercial platinum carbon catalyst. And uh, in that case, uh, we have the uh, large differences all ADT cycles, and we calculate the degree on the decrease in uh, MEA, uh, MSA, and this, uh, this uh, polypyrrole stabilizer catalyst exhibited a better performance compared to the uh, commercial catalyst and the platinum catalyst without the polypyrrole values. So this experiment suggests that the platinum catalyst with polypyrrole was more active and durable for the oral reaction compared to the conventional one. So recently we decorated the uh, platinum catalyst using a lanthanoid, uh, in this case gathering, because uh, there is one report in this, uh, science and uh, the uh, platinum and the lanthanid alloy structure is effective for the uh, OR performances. But this is a bar of samples, and we uh, prepare the com uh, combined platinum and the gathering samples on the surface of multiple carbon nanotube. Since this is almost similar to each other to the pure platinum catalyst, we added the gathering source, this one and uh, uh, attach the both platinum and the gadolinium on the surface of a carbon nanotube. And after the coding with polypyrrole, a polymerization of pyrrole, and we uh, coded the surface of a sample using a polypyrrole. And we prepared four samples with different platinum and gadolinium ratio, 10 to one, to five, five to one, two to one, and one to one samples. And we compare the structure and the performances of these calories. And so you can see the uh, platinum calories, the small part in a particular calories, and without the guttering in. And this is a platinum guttering five to one sample and one to one sample. And interestingly, we can see the very small particle, uh, average particle size, or less than two nanometers, 1.5 plus minus 0.5 and 1.6 and 1.4. There were no significant differences between the particle size between three samples. So the addition of gathering also provide small platinum nanoparticle with narrow particle size distribution. So uh, diffraction, uh, XRD, and we recorded that spectra. And uh, so there is no peaks for the uh, alloy structure, but platinum gathering. And the so peak position of platinum 111 is almost similar to platinum 1. And the calculating analysis of platinum SVH exhaust suggests us uh, the contribution of platinum, platinum chemical bond, whose coordination numbers are almost similar to each other between three samples. So these results suggested us there is no contribution on platinum gathering alloy structure in the sample. And platinum, which is active site on the reaction, has almost a similar coordination structures during three samples. And the gathering MSs on the spectra suggest us some differences in the structure on the gathering species, which is different to the precursor. And we found that the gadolinium oxide and the gadolinium hydroxide formed in the samples. So the gadolinium C plus 
is it exists in the sample and there is no formation of other structures. And so, but we found that the clear differences in all our performance between two samples. So you can see that uh, to see blood platinum gadolinium five two one and platinum uh, catalyst, black one is a pure platinum catalyst, and the red one is a sample with gadolinium. And we can see the shift on the CV spectra, which shows us the positive uh, degree uh, suppress on the suppression of platinum oxidation by the decoration of the gadolinium. So we would like to uh, measure the operand result analysis what happens on the platinum catalyst under the uh, or reaction condition. So you can see the typical setup on operand result. And Dr. Uruga and Sakiga Higashi at Jasuri developed the operand result at BL36 X being line. And uh, uh, we measure the RD uh, on the electro samples and the decode detected the fluorescent X rays under the uh, RD conditions. So you can see the picture on the sample cell, and this is a detector. And we operated the cell and uh, regulated the cell voltage and recorded the dust spectra of the different cell voltage for the two samples in the platinum catalyst and the platinum gathering in catalyst, whose local coordination structure by exigent analysis are almost similar to the hazard. And uh, under the oper uh, operand conditions, we clearly uh, demonstrated that differences between two samples for the voltage uh, cycles. So we recorded the six spectra, 0 point, uh, 0 0.4 volts, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and 1.2 volt. So these changes in the cell voltage suggest that the responsibility on the platinum catalyst for the voltage cycles. And at 0.4 volt, platinum uh, still uh, is a metallic structure. And when we increase the cell voltage, we can see the oxidation of platinum catalyst. In the case of pure platinum catalyst, so we can see the almost the metallic platinum particle at 0.4 volt. So all surfaces are oxygen species at the surface on platinum are reduced and we can get a metallic platinum catalyst. And when we increase the cell voltage, we can see large change between 0.9 and 1.0 volt. So it is very uh, typical and uh, oxidation of platinum surface proceeded between this uh, voltage. And at 1.2 volt, uh, significant oxidation of platinum proceeded on the samples. When the platinum gadolinium catalyst, we can see the uh, change in the responsibility on the platinum elsewhere to cause the voltages uh, at these voltages. And uh, at 0.4 volt, we can see the similar spectra, but when we increase the cell voltage to 1.0 volt, the change in the white line intensity is very small compared to the left one. So the addition of gadolinium uh, widely suppressed the oxidation of platinum, and uh, we can uh, platinum doesn't uh, oxidize at the voltage of 1.0. And so the uh, difference is obvious, and the, the gadolinium addition of gadolinium widely suppressed. The oxidation, the unfavorable oxidation of platinum, which is a major reason for the dissolution of the platinum calories. So the gathering doesn't have alloy structure, but it's rotated as a uh, gathering three plus oxidized species around the platinum particles and affected to the uh, redox, response, uh, redox response on the platinum catalyst on the carbon nanotube surface. So next, I'd like to show you from the 3D neutral assassination of PFC MEA. So MEA is a practical sample on the PFC use, and we put the powder catalyst at the anode side and the cathode side, both sides on the membrane. So you can see the a picture on the membrane electron assembly, this is like a people, and we put this one in, in the cathode, uh, in the cell, between anode and the cathode side. 
and you can see the uh, image on uh, uh, cross section image on the sample cell. So we start in uh, uh, this is a um, this is MEF and the flow channels and uh, some uh, current collector and separator and uh, we we go to the both anode and the cathode stacked structures. And so I I I think you know you have already know the computed tomography dust, cheeky dust, which is one of the very powerful tools for the three-dimensional image, uh, X-ray imaging technique. And the computed tomography is already developed well. And we combine the CT three-dimensional imaging technique and just spectroscopy and uh, succeeded in the three-dimensional imaging of the uh, chemical structure, chemical state of the catalyst, not only the morphology, X-ray CT imaging provide us the morphology image of the samples. But the important point is we need to know the real chemical state of the catalyst, how the uh, platinum catalyst oxidize and how the platinum migration or dissolution proceed in the samples. We need to analyze the chemical state of the samples under the working condition. So the simple X-ray imaging is not enough to provide this kind of chemical state uh, information. So we combine the uh, imaging technique and the uh, spectroscopy and provide it like a huge uh, amount of the spectral uh, structure they do inside the PFC in the game. So uh, this is a setup and we recorded, uh, we put the samples uh, like this one and we rotate the cell and record it as a projection image, two dimensional projection images at different angles. For example, so this is X-ray and we change the cell uh, angles, eh? rotate the cell and record it a two dimensional images. And uh, we also change the uh, energy for the measurement. So that we change the two parameters, angles and energies, and we record it the CT's oxidator. And this is a protocol on CT's and then uh, exhaust analysis. And you can see this uh, protocol in uh, this, our paper. And uh, we, uh, of, uh, Two-dimensional data was converted to Zen's region and exhaust region. And for Zen's region, we use a computing analysis and extracted the edge jump and the white line height on the platinum's L3 edge. And we estimated the amount on the platinum catalyst and the oxidation state on platinum catalyst by the calibration of white line height. And we reconstructed the platinum density, morphology, platinum density, and the platinum balance state. And for excess analysis, we uh, calculated the samples in a two dimensional images and uh, uh, obtained the set on the data on the coordination numbers and uh, bond distances. And uh, we reconstructed in a coordination number, for example, the platinum platinum and platinum oxygen in a particular way. Uh, for the city exact analysis. And so this is uh, with our re uh, recent results reported last week. And uh, so this is an example on a three-dimensional image on the cathode catalyst layer in MEA. So you can see the clear uh, SEM image. So this is a cathode catalyst layer, and this is very heterogeneous structures, and this is a PIA polymer LX right membrane, napium. And we have a very small cathode catalyst layer with a palladium catalyst. And uh, so uh, this is a cross-sectional SEM image, and uh, we measured these samples. So this is a uh, image on uh, measurement. We uh, irradiated the X-ray beam, like this one, and change the cell angles and recorded the two dimensional uh, projection image at a different set uh, angle. And by the deconstruction of these parameters in the Zen region, 
and exacerbation, uh, we obtain a set of the data. Uh, first one is morphology, which is a reconstructed image before the plat uh, at the energy of before the platinum is reached. So this is a background, so which shows us the morphology of the sample. And this is an image on the platinum density. So we can calculate the edge jump at platinum L3 edge and we reconstructed it. And this is a platinum virus state at 1.0 volt and 0.4 volt. We can change the cell voltage for beyond the measurement. So we can discuss, uh, we, we calculated this one from the white line height using the references, three uh, platinum differences, uh, different samples. And we, we can calculate the uh, difference between two uh, valence state at 1.0 volt and 0.4 volt. At 1.0 volt, the platinum was oxidized, and this is reduced structures. So this delta platinum virus shows us the responsibility on the platinum redox reactions and between two cell voltages. And it is often uh, the relative to the activity of the capital. And we succeeded in uh, uh, reconstructing the coordination number of platinum, platinum, and platinum oxygen at two different voltages. And 1.0 volt, platinum was oxidized and reduced. So you can see the small change in the coordination number of platinum, platinum. So the surface of platinum, platinum uh, particle surface was oxidized. So we can see the uh, reduction of the coordination number of platinum platinum at 1.0 volt, and it is metallic at 0.4 volt. So we can see the uh, difference between the coordination number between two states in the samples. And uh, we conducted the ADT process. Uh, top one is a fresh catalyst, and uh, bottom one is a uh, degraded catalyst by ADT accelerated degradation test. And we can see the change in the uh, change in some parameters, for example. So at the 1.0 volt, the coordination number becomes more dark. So aggregation of platinum carries proceeded in the whole part of the catalyst waves. So we can see the differences between uh, these parameters. But so uh, uh, we can uh, we can, we can see the change in these parameters by ADT processes. So uh, uh, we uh, analyzed the, the differences in the cattle platinum catalyst in MEA. So as I told you, so MEA is a very heterogeneous structures. There are many clocks and uh, many uh, different molecules inside the cathode catalyst layers. And uh, by conventional zaft, uh, we use the uh, X-ray beam, just uh, straight irradiated to the X-ray sam uh, samples, like this one. So we can get the average information in the X-ray beam spot. And uh, uh, this kind of three-dimensional imaging suggests us the distribution of each parameters in the real PRC MEF. And uh, we one data uh, data for one depth. So we have a depth structure, three dimensional imaging, and uh, we have about uh, uh, two hundred thousand voxels with a size of one point three micron and one point three micron. And we have huge data for each depth, and we calculated the ratio of each values. For example, platinum density or platinum balance state and delta values and the coordination numbers for each depth. So we can calculate, so each ratio of each value. So for example, in this point, so we have uh, uh, many voxels with these values and we, we use the, this color values as a ratio of each value. So in the case of uh, this platinum density plot, we have many uh, voxels with the value of this, this value but we don't have the body uh, boxes with this one. So this kind of plot suggests us the distribution and the average of the data uh, in uh, each uh, 
parameters in a three-dimensional mapping of these parameters. And we also uh, overwrote the values uh, measured by conventional transmission zaft. So conventional transmission zaft using a, a conventional X-ray beam, we can measure the uh, zaft spectra in the beam spot. And we analyzed and plotted these parameters in a dashed line in this plot. So this dashed line is a value obtained from transmission zaft spectra at the projection angle of zero degree. So this plot suggests us some parameters, for example, this one, we can see the agreement on uh, this two-dimensional plot and average values like this one. But in the case of the platinum density, so there is quite heterogeneous structure. And uh, we can see the large difference to the deficit direction. So in, in that case, a very small platinum carrist, and it was changed like this one. And we can see the difference in the coordination number at the cathode surface. We can see the increase in the coordination numbers, but in uh, distribution of the coordination number at interface of the napium, we can see the broad distribution on the coordination numbers. So the PRC has a very heterogeneous structures. And of course, we can discuss the average structure using a conventional uh, spectroscopy. But indeed, sometimes the parameters are widely different in the Leo distribution of these parameters and average values. So the spatial imaging would be quite uh, important to understand the heterogeneous behavior of the PFC system, particularly in the problem of calories. So we apply in the around three-dimensional image for the PFC MVA. So this is a brand vaccination reported in 2017. And uh, anode gas exchange or platinum cobalt calcium degradation and uh, exhaust analysis. And uh, there are so many events uh, which can be uh, understood by operand three dimensional dust imaging in PFC. So, next, I would like to show you the example on the three dimensional imaging on the platinum cobalt bimetal catalyst. Uh, which is most common catalyst for the cathode and active and durable than platinum catalyst. Toyota Mirai has a platinum cobalt catalyst, bimetal catalyst, and uh, which has a coarse destruction surface in the platinum rich cell and platinum cobalt bimetal alloy structure at the core of the nanoparticles. And we found that the uh, improvement on the durability of the catalyst when we added the cobalt species to the cathode catalyst. However, so a long, uh, long time operation or repetition of accelerated degradation test as uh, gradually uh, proceed the deactivation and the dissolution of cobalt species from the alloy catalyst. And we, uh, conducted the operand analysis on uh, uh, platinum cobalt bimetallic alloy catalyst, cathode catalyst, and we measured the exhaust toxicity. And in the first uh, for the fresh sample, and uh, conducted accelerated degradation test at the beam line, and then second measurement after the uh, uh, 21,000 cycles of ADT. And we also repeated another cycles of ADT. And finally, we recorded the same area, same part of the So we can compare the difference between three stages for the ADT process in one PFC sample. And after the measurement, we can see the change in the particle size from 5.3 nanometer to 6.5 nanometers. So the Compared to the platinum calories, the platinum cobalt is more durable and more stable. But the degradation and dissolution gradually proceeded under the cathode operating conditions. Here, I'd like to show you operand three-dimensional image on PFG calories, morphology, 
protein distribution and the cobalt distribution and platinum oxidation state and platinum redox response. Uh, uh, this is the difference between the platinum oxidation state up to uh, 1.04 and 0.4. And for the first sample in the top one, you can see the platinum distributed like this one. And the cobalt, we found the signal on the cobalt in four part on the catalyst, cathode catalyst layer. And the platinum oxidation state, and we can see the uh, redox response is very uh, positive. So the platinum is well uh, response to the uh, redox uh, voltage operation in the PLC. But after the ADT process, we can see the large difference in images. For example, the platinum distribution, we can see the aggregation of platinum catalysts like this one. And this one is also, we can see the large increase in the uh, color bar intensity of the sample. And compared to platinum catalyst, cobalt is missing in the sample. So cobalt dissolution widely proceeded in the cold part of the cathode catalyst layer. It still remains, but we, we can see the large loss of cobalt, some cobalt catalyst in the sample. And uh, related to the structure change, we can see the change in the reactivity of the catalyst. And the contrast is widely different for the sample before ADT and after the ADT sample. So uh, we compare so these images. And uh, so this image suggests that the platinum is still located in the cathode catalyst layer in the case of platinum cobalt catalyst, but the cobalt is dissolved into the electrolyte layers. So the platinum and cobalt is originally alloy structures, but it has a different uh, degradation mechanism in the cathode catalyst layer. So the imaging suggests us a different uh, degradation manner of platinum cobalt bimetal catalyst under the working condition. So this kind of three-dimensional images has huge data. Sometimes it is very difficult to analyze them. So we can see the change very clearly in the three-dimensional image, but the problem is how to use this three-dimensional image data well from this huge data set. And uh, we collaborate with uh, uh, researchers in informatics. And one three-dimensional image has almost a uh, million data set. And uh, for operand analysis, we have huge data set, morphology, platinum density, cobalt density, Cobalt platinum atomic ratio, uh, balance state, and differences between them. So we can calculate many structural parameters at each box size. So the sample is heterogeneous. So we got huge data set with different structure and different performances for one city that's measure. Uh, the problem is how to extract the parameter relationship where we observe the parameters. So we collaborated with a data scientist and he applied a clustering of the descriptors using a Gaussian mixture model. So I briefly show you the, what, what we did. So this is a plot, a two dimensional plot on a raw data. And by the fitting analysis in the Gaussian mixture model, we can uh, we have the grouping of the data, like this one, green one and red one and the blue one. So in the three two-dimensional images, so the distribution of two parameters were uh, uh, fitted with like this one. So we can separate the three groups. And so each group has a different uh, trend or behaviors. And we can discuss the uh, relationship between two parameters by using a clustering of descriptors by the observed cities as data. So, and we try in various combination of this uh, clustering processes and uh, some, some plot 
we call the Pearson plot. This is a two dimensional plot of two disc graphers. And uh, some Pearson plot shows us some the, uh, ten, uh, trend on the calories between two parameters. This is one example. This is the Pearson plot on platinum density and the platinum balance state at 1.0. So the left side is so the low platinum density in the dispersed part, and the left right one is aggregated part. And this is a platinum balance of 0.41 volt. So the low balance is a reduction and oxidation, uh, reduction and oxidation of platinum calories. And in the press samples, so we have this shape the triangle structures for in the Pearson plot. So platinum density and the platinum bias state has this relation in this plot. So that means aggregated part is more reduced. This is very reasonable because our aggregated sample has a small surface area. So the number of the active surface active site is reduced. So the average platinum bias state should be reduced. So this is very reasonable. But after the ADT cycles, we found that the shape on the triangle side, triangle is widely changed after the ADT cycles. After the ADT, so aggregated part has, was more oxidized compared to the fresh part. What does it mean? So the dissolution of cobalt promoted the uh, aggregate, uh, solution of cobalt uh, accelerate the oxidation of platinum. So cobalt, additional cobalt has a lower to decrease the platinum D1 center. So dissolution of cobalt uh, means that a loss of the uh, effect to decrease the D1 platinum D1 center. So in the, this plot, aggregated part has a more oxidized. So the dissolution of cobalt promotes the aggregation of platinum in the samples. So maybe some part of uh, cobalt is uh, dissolved from the catalyst, cathode catalyst. Aggregation of platinum also accelerated in this part. And we can see the change in this plot like this one. So this is another example for the data mining. And we calculate the distance from the surface from the morphology image, which is a Euclidean distance from the boxes for to the closest box with uh, uh, almost zero. And we calculate the distance from the surface, so distance from the crack structure, and we plotted the density on the uh, difference, delta platinum density, which means the dissolution or aggregation of platinum calories. And so we uh, calculated the change in the platinum density before and after the ADT cycles and plotted the uh, prepared a Pearson plot. And interestingly, so we, we got the four, four species in the Gaussian curve. And with one is a delta platinum density is positive. So that is a part of the platinum aggregation. And this is almost zero. So no, no change in the platinum density. In the blue and the, uh, dark blue, so this is a negative values for the platinum density. So that means that dissolution of platinum calories. And the red sky and the blue distributed from zero to, uh, uh, zero to the depth of direction of the distance from the surface. But it is very strange. And we found that the uh, part with yellow one with a uh, uh, low, uh, almost a, no, no change in the platinum density is located at the surface on the crack structures. And it was rotated like this one. So we have a crack and around the crack structures, uh, there are some platinum species which is not contributed to the change in the platinum uh, migration. So, the, so this results suggest as the regulation of crack structures is one of the key issues for the Cell performances and the migration of platinum calories. Unfortunately, cobalt is all cobalt species from surface to uh, the depths 
always uh, changes in the obligation and the dissolution from the cathode cathode layers. So this kind of imaging suggests that the difference with different behavior on the platinum catalyst at the different structure in the cathode catalyst. The, on the Operando method, a very, very interesting talk. So the, now the paper is open for questions. So anybody can mic on and directly ask her. So can I start? Uh, the are the oh, we we have. Oh, okay, okay. We please, 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 uh, please start. Uh, please talk, uh, Anna. Hello, hello, Professor Tada. Very nice talk. Thank you very much. I have a few questions. Um, first of all, to the first part with platinum gadolinium. Do you also see if um if in B metallic material? So the gadolinium get more and more oxidized during the reaction. So uh, in this samples, uh, so the most stable species in the gathering gathering three plus, and uh, it always stays as gathering three plus in our samples. And recently, we succeeded in the uh, preparation of platinum gadolinium alloy structure by completely different. Uh, preparation technique. And in that case, we can uh, prepare the metallic gathering of species. But under the uh, electrochemical conditions, it's still difficult to keep the metallic gathering of species. So in, uh, often it's converted to gathering three plus under the uh, RD conditions. Okay. Then I have a question to the Imogen. Uh, CT tomography, mm -hmm. just a technical question. So how long does it take to make one tomography set data, let's say for one age, for one condition? And uh, it's, it, it's depend on the measurement condition. For examples, at one energy and changing the uh, angles, uh, it's, we can take the uh, one set on the CT data for one minute. And so, by using a quick just measurement, so we can smoothly changing the uh, Garban scanner and, uh, and we can record a quick just spectra. And uh, in usual, so we use that uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes for one city of the measurement. Okay, okay, it's reasonably fast. <laughs> um, and then, so you have this flat samples, right? And then at some point at the zero degree, you just go through, but with, with 80 degree, you have much higher absorption lengths. Mm -hmm. Is this a way to estimate and uh, compensate it somehow later? Yeah, so, so there is some uh, 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 technique for the angular limited cities after, and uh, it was already developed and we used that technique. And at 80 degrees, so as you told, so, uh, absorption is quite different compared to zero degree. But in the case of the MEA samples, we have very low concentration of platinum species. And we can record the uh, absorption image at 80 degree. And so when we change to 80 to 90 degrees, so maybe we can see the lots of absorption in the cell. So it depends on the samples, but in, in, in our case, the, the uh, it is quite difficult to get the, some signals from the zero degree with a low uh, platinum uh, amount. So it's depending on the sample. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So other questions? Yes, please. Uh, we, we, we have one question on the yes. chat. Oh, chat, okay. So, that says why platinum migration take place? Yeah, so the surface on uh, when we change the uh, cell voltage, which is necessary to uh, operate the PFC. So platinum surface is oxidized. 
and it's recovered when we uh, re recover to the cell voltage, but the, it is not complete. So 100% platinum doesn't recover to the original state. So the small oxidation repeated and repeated, repeated, and the platinum, uh, surface platinum species was converted to platinum ions and migrate in the samples and aggregated in the electro, uh, napion layers. This is very common in the PFC. Okay. Bashari? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, another question? Oh. Yeah. So, can I have uh, one question? Yes, please. So, the, uh, you study the platinum cobalt. And the, after the degradation, so you find the platinum cobalt, the alloying. Mm. And the, uh, in your CT measurement, platinum density and the cobalt density is not so different after the degradation. Is it correct? No, so cobalt density is widely decreased after the degradation. Mm -hmm. So, so the, mm. you can see the large mm -hmm. change in the contrast yeah, yeah, yeah. case of cobalt. Mm -hmm. So the platinum is aggregated and cobalt is distributed or they go out, go out of the cell? Go, uh, go out from the alloy structure. Alloy structure. And mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. uh, migrated to the membrane side. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, we can uh -huh. see uh -huh. the increase in the cobalt density uh, mm -hmm. to the membrane between the anode and the cathode. I see. And I small, see. small cobalt species still mm -hmm. remain in the catalyst and it works to uh, uh, as an alloy catalyst. Okay, That's okay. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, the uh, activity decreases. That's right. Okay, thank you very much. So, any other question? No more? Okay, thank you very much, Professor Tada. Thank uh, you for so your much. excellent, very excellent uh, talk, and uh, I'm impressed very much. Okay.